Good evening, everyone. It's so good to see you. It's so good to be back here live at Cruise Tips TV. We're gonna have some fun tonight. You can start queuing up those cruise questions. We are ready to answer them in just a few moments. I am gonna show you guys some new cruise merch that we have added to our store. And we're gonna talk about anything and everything related to cruising for the next 30 minutes. We're here until 6.30 tonight. If you are new in the house, we'd like to welcome you. Please, please say hello to everybody in the chat so we can welcome you. This is a wonderful community. We want you to participate and have fun and just know that we're here to support you always. Also, if you have not subscribed, but you're just stopping by tonight, would you please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Tonight's episode is brought to you by our friends at cruiseline.com, where you can search for cruises using easy to use cruise search. What you want to do is go onto cruiseline.com using the link in the description of this video and go to search for cruises. Now, don't forget that once you found a cruise that interests you, you're going to see a little box or a little prompt that says set up a free price alert. You want to set up a price alert so that you can get emails that will notify you if the price of your cruise drops. If the price of your cruise drops, you want to contact your travel agent or the cruise line, especially if it's before final payment, and talk to them a little bit about what your options are. Can you get a room upgrade? Can you reprice the cruise? Can you get um, some onboard credit? There's usually some options if it's before final payment, so be sure to check that out. Before we answer questions, do you guys want to see some fun new cruise merch? If you would like to see this stuff on our Amazon store, you would go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV, but I'm going to paste it into the chat right now. But we have four awesome items we want to show you. All of these are from our friends at Cruise On. This is a cruise power cube. It's non-surge. It's tiny, adorable, so good. It has three USB um, little ports in the top, and then it has one, two, three regular um, three prongers here, and then you just plug it right in. So this one's a little bit smaller than the one that they sent to us last year, and it's really nice. It's very compact, and I love that it's a combo USB and um, regular what is this regular? Would you say it's an ACDC? Is that what you call it? I don't know. You guys, I'm not the techie in the family. We all know this. Anyway, um, this should be safe to take on most cruise lines because it's compact and it's not like a giant power strip. So you should be okay with this. This is more like a USB hub than it is one of the larger strips. Um, the next thing we have are these really adorable Check these out. These are cruise door sticky frames. So they're not meant to be used necessarily magnetically. They have sticky stuff on the back of them. So if your door is not magnetic, you just peel off the sticky stuff and you put photos and things like that on any surface. So there, when you order this, they actually have a way that you can, um, you can customize some inserts that have like a map and your name and all this cute stuff that you can put inside. They're adorable. So those are in our store. They're all in the new for 2020 store. And then we have a really great priced set of towel bands. So these are like, you guys know those exercise bands that you use that are like really compact? There's four of them in this little um, container. And what you do is you use them to secure your towel when you're sitting by the pool. Super tiny, this is awesome. And then the last thing for you Disney Cruise fans, this is super fun. This is for, this is actually a um, Disney fish extender. If you've cruised with Disney, you know that people put these, they hang these outside of their stateroom for little gifts to be collected. So if there's anybody in the house that's been on a Disney cruise and can do a better job of explaining Disney fish extenders, please do. But this one's really cute. I actually think this would be cute, like hanging on the back of your bathroom door at home and storing things in. It's adorable. So love all of these. They are so cute. And they have, of course, a little card that comes with it that talks more about the fish extender concept. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Usually we do all of our product stuff and our reviews over at youtube.com forward slash cruise gear. But sometimes when we get new things, we want to show them to you really quickly and we'll go into more depth later. So let's answer cruise questions. Here we go. Dana A says advice on transfers from Houston airport to Galveston. I know Dana, that is a tricky one. 
I've never cruised out of Galveston. I haven't done it yet. So I'm really curious how this works as well. A lot of people book the cruise line transfers and a lot of people do ride sharing. So like Uber or Lyft, that's generally what they do. But if anybody can weigh in on that in the chat, we'd love it. Quality Child Care One says, what other ship other than NCL have solo cabins? Um, NCL is the leader with solo cabins right now. Some cruise lines like Holland America have a few that they've added um, or that they've converted, but you can also work with a travel agent to find good solo deals uh, where you're not necessarily in a solo cabin and the supplement could be waived. So there should be some great options for you there. Katie Ciccarello said, has anyone cruised MSC with a baby? Six months experience tips. I haven't, Katie. I cruised with a one-year-old and it was great, but maybe someone else can weigh in. And congratulations, by the way. Teresa Robinson said, hello, today's our 27th anniversary and we're celebrating watching Cruise Tips TV. Teresa, Happy anniversary to the two of you, and cheers from our whole community to many, many more beautiful years. I don't have a glass or I would raise it to you tonight. Andrew Hill said, I bought the I'm on a boat Cruise Tips TV shirt and had a lot of comments about it. Andrew, I love that shirt. The I'm on a boat shirt is so funny. Um, you guys, it's a Saturday Night Live type joke. Obviously, we know it's called a ship, so I don't want to get any mean comments here. We know it's called... We know what it's called. Um, if any of you are interested in buying the merchandise, you actually can just click right on YouTube. It'll say buy Cruise Tips TV merchandise right underneath the um, description. It's right there. And the I'm on a boat stuff should be in the Teespring store. Super fun. Nikki Singleton said, hi, Sherry. Will you be on the Enchanted Princess in the fall? Well, Nikki, we hope to be on the Enchanted Princess before the fall. We are looking into the option of potentially being on one of the inaugural sailings um, of Enchanted. So we're talking to Princess about that and we have no plans solidified yet, but it is on our dream list and we sure hope to be going back over to Europe to welcome that beautiful new ship to the Princess fleet. It would be such a dream for our family. Um, let's see, Miss Martini said, what's the website? If you're talking about for the new products I just posted, I will put that in there right now. And if you're talking about the I'm on a boat, I'll try to get that for you too. I've, I've got another website we use called Spreadshirt. And Spreadshirt is awesome, and so is Teespring. We sell merch through both of them. I'll try to get you a link to that here as I go. It's kind of tough to kind of tough to multitask, but I'm going to try and see if I can get it for you. For the shirt, the I'm on a boat shirt. Okay. I'm the other stuff. Okay, sounds good. You know what, you guys? I'm actually going to put I am going to put a link to the shirt in the chat and maybe someone could click on it and tell me if it works and it takes you to the right place for the I'm on a boat shirt. I'd be really curious to see um, if that is something that you guys can design from the link. I just tried to get it really fast and it may not have worked. Garrett Stidworthy said, going on Oasis of the Season only four weeks. Thoughts on Portside Barbecue and El Loco Fresh. I haven't dined at either of them, but they are total cult favorites on um, Royal Caribbean, so I would try both of them. You might want to try, Garrett, you might want to try El Loco Fresh on the first day. Instead of going to the buffet, give it a try on day one. Nautical Nurse Nancy is in the house. She said, do those phrase inserts come off well? The phrase inserts, I'm not sure what you mean, Nancy. Um, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you're talking about these and I'm gonna hold it up and just kind of show you how the um, sticky stuff comes off if I can. I don't know if that helps you, but it seems like they wouldn't, they wouldn't, I think if you're asking if they would stick too, um, too much, no, they seem like they'd peel off and you'd be okay. Um, should be just fine. They're not overly sticky, they're not like, uh, I don't think you're going to leave any residue behind or anything like that. All right. Meredith Doyle, we have never been on a Disney cruise, but someday we would love to. You guys, we want to go on every cruise on every cruise line. Let's just be honest. I mean, it is all of interest to us. Becca Gross, hi, Sherry. Debating on whether to get a hotel package that has a shuttle to the port or do Lyft or Uber to the port and suggestions. It really depends on your situation, Becca. If you're, It depends on when you're flying in or driving in. Why don't you send me a direct message over on Facebook? Go to Cruise Tips TV, follow us, and let's chat about it privately there so I can help you. Terry Hackworth said, has anybody Ubered in New Orleans to port? I haven't, Terry, but let's see if someone can. Abby Johnson said, when is your next cruise? Abby, we will be making an announcement about that soon, hopefully um, either this month or next. You're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that announcement. 
Daisy Roman said, is vintages on Royal included in the drink package? Yes, I believe that the wine there is up to a certain point. Um, so as long as the wine meets the per glass or per bottle, it should be per glass criteria. I think it is, I think it is. I don't think it's all upcharge wine. Janice Billy said, does Norwegian have outside or balcony solo cabins? No, I think they're all inside, as far as I know. Chosen One said, what currency do they use on the ship? They, it's a cashless society, Chosen One. So whatever, um, you're going you're gonna to go ahead and register your credit card or some cash at the front desk. Most people register a credit card or a debit card, and then it's going to be cashless and will be charged to your account. So you're not going to use any currency on board. In fact, you can't pay with cash on a ship unless you like to leave a few dollars of tips here and there. Carl Olson said, can you use the Starbucks app on Royal Cruise Ships? I don't know, Carl. That is such a good question. I'm so sorry. Hopefully someone else can help you with that. Naomi, what's that? You don't think so? Hubby doesn't think so. Naomi said, has anyone done the ruins excursion in Belize? I have friends who did it, Naomi. They said it was okay, but they wish they'd done something out in the water on a reef. Isabel Sweet said, anyone here on Sky Princess with us on the 15th? February 15th, Isabel. Let's let Isabel know. Let's roll call it, guys. Tanya Blackwell said, when parking at the Port of Miami, driving in, is it secure? I, I assume it is, Tanya, but I'm not sure I can't speak to that. Let's see if our friends can help. How secure is Port Miami, guys? Um, Idaho Redfish. Ooh, I like your username, Idaho Redfish. Hi, Sherry, looking at booking Symphony of the Seas. Should I go for an ocean balcony, boardwalk, or Central Park balcony? Do I want to be closer to the back of the boat? Too noisy. Okay, personal opinion, Idaho Redfish. I do not care for boardwalk or Central Park balconies. Not my jam. I'm an ocean view girl. They're cool, but if you're by the boardwalk, expect, definitely expect some noise. Central Park will be quieter for sure, but I'm, I'm an ocean view girl. Um, I gotta be honest, that ship was pretty quiet. Anywhere on the ocean side, I think you'll be okay. Um, so don't worry too much about the location. Cruise Addicts, advice on hotel in Seattle close to the port and not too pricey. Um, Cruise Addicts, we loved Hotel Andra or Andra, A-N-D-R-A, super great. But our community might be able to help you more with that because that's the only hotel I've ever stayed in in Seattle pre-cruise and there are a lot of opinions and a lot of knowledge on that. So yeah, Brianna Love said, best places to eat on Liberty of the Seas. It has been years since I've been on Liberty of the Seas, but Chops Grill gets rave reviews. Tanya Blackwell said when parking, oh, already got that one. Idaho Redfish, already got that one. I'm ready, Mr. Cruise Tips TV for whoever's under Idaho Redfish. I am looking at myself on camera and I'm seeing that this lipstick looks really different. Wow, on camera than it did in the mirror. <laughs> you guys ever have that happen? We're like, whoa, I didn't know I was wearing bright purple lipstick. It's kind of a new violet -y shade I just got. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right. Let's see, Julie Renee said, do the water slides at Coco Key have weight limits? Yes, they do, Julie Renee. You can find them on the website, on the Royal Caribbean website. Just search the Royal Caribbean website for Coco Key weight limits. Katie Colling said, talking about transportation, what about Port Canaveral to Orlando Airport? Um, our favorite option for transport in the greater Port Canaveral area is Go Port. We had the most unbelievable experience with them um, when we were on Harmony of the Seas back in September. Go Port provides a variety of different transportation options. They provide transportation only from the cruise ship back to the airport. You can find that on their website. You can also find, um, you can do just parking. You can do a fly snooze cruise that includes all the transportation. It's just amazing. You've got to check out their website. We love them and we're going to be doing more collaboration with them in the future because we are so in love with their service that we're excited to continue to share it with you guys and to bring you more information about the experience of, um, the unique experience of cruising from Port Canaveral and coming in through Orlando is very unique if you think about it. So you'll be hearing more from us on that in the coming months. Chad Kotner said, I'm going on an MSC European cruises leaving Barcelona. Any tips for hotels or points of interest for Barcelona? 
Can't help you with hotels, Chad, but for points of interest, you definitely want to visit La Sagrada Familia, which is the wonderful Gaudi Cathedral that remains under construction. It is a work of art. Um, you want When you're researching it, Google the best times to visit because there's some lovely times to go to avoid crowds and also for optimal light coming into the cathedral. We did a Segway tour, a Gaudi highlight Segway tour, where we didn't actually stop and go in, but we absolutely loved that tour. And you can find that vlog on our channel. Just search Barcelona in videos on our channel and you'll find it. Chris Whipple said, where is me voice candy's favorite location on a ship to film? Uh-oh, Chris, I don't understand the question. Do you know what he means? Oh, <laughs> he's talking about voice candy and eye candy from the podcast. Okay, I didn't even get my own inside joke. It's, where's our favorite location on a ship to film? My balcony, Chris. There's nothing like um, turning on the camera at sail away and saying something to you guys, like the rush of that. If you watch our Embarkation Day vlog from Royal Princess, I proposed a toast to everyone and we were just getting ready to leave and the light was like perfect and it, the sun was setting and I got to talk to you guys on camera and I was like, this is bliss. This is my idea of bliss. All right. Thank you, Josh, for letting me know that I just sent everybody to the creator site. I, of course I did. I'm trying to multitask and it just doesn't work. Thank you so much, my friend. I will try to find the general um, link to the shop and I think I have found it. Yeah, I think I got it. Josh, since you're so helpful, if you're still there, would you try clicking on this link for me? I would be so thankful. I'm probably giving everybody the wrong link again, knowing me. Ugh. Let me know if you wouldn't mind. Somebody click on it and tell me if it says, I'm on a boat. I love the I'm on a boat look. I think it's, it's the best to me. It's like kind of dry humor. All right, Ben Wilson. Hey, CTTV, wife and I are off to Puerto Rico on Celebrity Summit Saturday. Thanks for all the content leading up to your cruise. Thank you, Ben. Have fun. Have a wonderful time. Let us know how you like celebrity. Um, I hear great things about celebrity. Cosmic Unicorn 2 said, what to wear on formal nights on a carnival cruise? You have a lot of flexibility. We do recommend that you dress it up a little bit. I would say something that you'd wear to a wedding as a guest would be nice, all the way up to totally formal, ball gown, tuxes, whatever you want to wear. You're going to see a big variety on carnival. For me, I usually go with something like a little black dress. Hope that helps you. Carol Vosberg said, Sherry, we really enjoyed watching your videos on Royal Princess. We're on the Royal Princess in June to Alaska. Why, thank you, Carol. We have enjoyed creating them, and Mr. Cruise Tips TV has enjoyed editing them. They ha it was an intense editing process for this one because we had a lot of footage, and that is a very good problem to have. The average edit time for one of these videos is probably about 30 hours per video. Would you agree? About 30 maybe more. The embarkation vlog um, and the Cabo vlog maybe took a little bit longer, but um, we are very, very fond of princess cruises and that was our, our 10th princess cruise and it was just such a fun one. That was a really lively ship too. Nurse Nancy said, yes, that was my question. Concerned about leaving residue or damage behind. I think you're okay, Nancy. Um, Minta said, we're on Harmony of the Seas this summer. Your cruise was 100% better because of watching you. Looking to go on another one, would you pick Montego Bay or Ocho Rios? I would pick Ocho Rios because I'm more familiar with the excursions I can get out of there. But it's no big deal either way, Minta. And thank you so much for the beautiful words. I really appreciate it. So, Josh, did that link work? I just did not have the, my, didn't have it ready. I'm going to keep trying for you guys. This is embarrassing. I, I should know how to do this. I used to have the link memorized and I could just say it and, um, you know, it would be easy to type in. I'm going to try it again. You guys hear the clicking of my, my little mouse there? Oh, Mr. Cruz Tips TV. Why can't we find the link? Oh, so embarrassed. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, We'll, we'll keep trying and what we'll do is we'll put it in the description of the video a little bit later because it's I think what it's doing is it's taking you into my creator page which is it makes sense because that's what it logged me into automatically. Jess Gorl, Gordon said Carl Olson yes you can use the Starbucks gift cards and the app at Starbucks kiosk if there's a Starbucks kiosk on board the Royal Caribbean ship. Good job. Thank you. Good job Jess. Bill Bayango said the cruise line you have not tried yet. 
do you want to? Like, Bill, which ones do we want to try? Oh my goodness, there are so many. Um, I would love to try Paul Gauguin to Tahiti. I would love to try Windstar. I'd love to try Celebrity. Of course, we'd love to try Disney. I'd like to go back on Holland America. It's been too long and I miss Holland America. Love that, love their cruise product. It's wonderful. I'd like to try every expedition line there is. I'd like to do a river cruise in the United States and a river cruise in Europe. And gosh, what have I missed? I mean, all of them. We want to do all of them. I, I would love to. If we had more time, we would, we, we would try. Let's see here. Sage Russell said, going to Alaska on Star Princess. We're driving to port. How does the luggage system work at embarkation? Any tips for Star Princess? Um, are you going to San Francisco? Is that the port? If it's San Francisco, the best thing to do if you're driving you can do it two ways. You can go in and drop off the luggage and then drive to the parking lot, but there might be a big line. That's how we did it. We drove in, dropped off our luggage, went to the parking lot, and then we walked back. In hindsight, I probably would have just gone and parked and hauled all my luggage with me because getting in and out of that parking lot in San Francisco is not fun or easy. Ron Hood said, staying at the Westin in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is the hotel Princess uses for passengers, hoping to catch the Princess shuttle. Any thoughts as to whom I should talk in to catching the shuttle? I don't... Oh, I would... I mean, like at the hotel, I would think that the concierge desk could ask you, but if you have booked a Princess shuttle, I, I hope that they would give you something in writing that would direct you. I'm sorry, you guys, am I a little slow tonight or something? I feel like I've been that way all week. I'm like, just not, not hearing things quickly enough. Okay, Aaron Martinez, have you ever been on MSC and were you part of the Yacht Club? Yes, Aaron, we have been on an MSC, we have been on several MSC cruises, once in the Yacht Club and once outside of the Yacht Club. Um, we, when we were outside of the Yacht Club, we had what was called the Aria experience, which is it's the closest thing to the Yacht Club, not inside the Yacht Club. The Yacht Club is wonderful. It is actually, in many cases, a very affordable luxury product. You just book the cruise in the Yacht Club. You don't have to be a member of any Yacht Club. It can be kind of confusing to people. They're like, how do I get in? You just book the cruise in the Yacht Club and you pay a little more money than you would in the normal population, but it's a phenomenal product. You have your own butler. You have an unlimited drinks package. You have a private dining room. They escort you on and off the ship. It's very relaxing and you get really addicted to it. And the beauty of it is, is that it's affordable. So we do really like the Yacht Club. Um, the only regret I had with the Yacht Club is that we were on such a port intensive cruise that we were off the ship every day and I could have just stayed on the ship the whole week and been happy. So keep that in mind. Pamela Morton said, just finished Caribbean Princess Panama Canal Cruise. Thanks for all the info. You did the sanctuary and chef's table on this trip. Welcome home, Pamela. I'm so glad that you enjoyed our Panama Canal vlogs from Princess Cruises. We had such a wonderful and memorable time on that trip with my mom. Nautical nurse Nancy said, are the gardens in Victoria within walking distance from the port? Well, Nancy, there are some gardens within walking distance. In fact, Victoria is so beautiful and so lush all the time that if you've never visited before, I would recommend walking around. Now, I don't like to walk into town from the port. I like to take a cab, even though it's only a really quick five minute cab ride because it's a little bit long for some people. You can do it, but we don't. We do take a cab or a pedicab and then walk around once you get to the Inner Harbor area, go to the Fairmont Empress, walk around, have tea, check out the beautiful lush um, uh, hanging gardens. It's very beautiful. If you're thinking about something like Bouchart Gardens, you need to take a bus there. It is not walkable. Naomi says, does Princess offer a free bottle of wine at the steakhouse in the first night like Carnival? I don't think they do, Naomi. Teresa Robinson said, we're going to Bermuda on the Encore in May. Can you recommend some good places to visit? Oh, to Bermuda. Isn't it, is it Horseshoe Bay, guys, that everybody recommends in Bermuda? I think I would do that. I see John and Tanya in the house with a super chat and a compliment on my lipstick. Hey, guys, I've missed you so much. Thank you for being here tonight, and thank you for the generous super chat. I really appreciate it, and thanks for the compliment on the lipstick. Mountaineer828 came in with a super chat, too. Thank you. Um, you said, we booked a family cruise for the summer. There will be 32 of us. 
Many of them are first time cruisers, so we will be sending them to your channel. Thanks for all you guys do. Yay! Yes, have a watch party. Do it. Cruise Tips TV watch party at your house before the cruise. Plan all your excursions together. Have a meal. Create some little handouts that has everybody's stateroom numbers on it so that you don't get lost. Have some fun. All right. Christopher and Courtney said, we're going on a Mexican Riviera cruise on Princess next month. Loving your vlogs. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that we have a lot for you from lots of different trips. We've done lots of different things there. And I think that it's nice to say we're building a good variety of different activity vlogs for Mexico. And I really like the variety. Lots of different things to do in Cabo and Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta. All right. Janice Billy said, is it cashless in the casino too? Yes, it is. Lisa Espinosa said, finally catching you live. Hubs and I going on first cruise in April on Carnival Dream. Have you been on it? No, but I've heard it's great. It is a carnival fave. Have fun. Andis Mom Coyden said, a Caribbean princess looking for May. What are the chances of an additional upgrade after? Um, I would say I, I can already answer this question even though I can't see the whole thing. Pretty good, probably. Um, we get upgraded a lot on Princess or we get the call for an upsell. So our travel agent will get an email that says your client can pay a little more to upgrade. I will tell you on Caribbean Princess, we asked our agent to be a pretty squeaky wheel and she was and she got us upgraded from an inside to an outside and then ultimately to balconies and we only paid $40 more. So I think you have a good chance. Be a squeaky wheel though, don't wait. Try to be proactive about it, okay? Um, let's see here. Janice Billy said, oh yeah, we already got that one. Um, I think I already got Linda's. Did I get Lisa Espinosa? I can't see that one. Yes, got that one already. Got Andis Mom. They might be duplicates, hon. That's probably what it is. <laughs> okay. Mike wants to know, are we going to the new overwater cabanas in the near future? No, Mike, we can't afford that. <laughs> That'd be really great, but um, I, don't, I don't have plans to do it. It would be really fun though. Janet O said, any tips on getting a cabin for Allure of the Seas? Honestly, we did a guarantee balcony on, um, on Harmony of the Seas and we were really happy with it and we saved a lot of money. So I think you can't go wrong. Personally, I prefer the Ocean View guarantee balcony um, arrangement with Royal Caribbean. I think it saves you a lot of money. Let's see. Um, Marita Marquez said, first time princess cruiser and on the Enchanted in July. Oh, congratulations. You have a club mini suite. What's the difference between club mini and mini? Club mini suite has some special perks. You're going to have some upgraded amenities in your room and you're going to have some club class dining. Club class dining is where you're, um, there's a sectioned off area of your dining room. And I think you do have some other privileges too. Probably priority embarkation and tendering and things like that. What a treat. Wonderful. Amy Green said, do any Royal Caribbean ships have laundry rooms on board? No, Amy, they don't. Cosmic Unicorn said, formal advice for formal dresses on a carnival cruise. Cosmic Unicorn, we already answered that a little earlier, so go back and listen. Celeste Sarah said, Sherry, is our medallion free for all the apps? Yes, it is. It is free. All of the medallion class and ocean medallion princess apps are complimentary. They are included in your medallion class cruise. All right. Kristen S. said, who books faster to the fun, the TA or me? Using a TA for the first time, she said, you could do it. You couldn't find it, so you said Carnival. No, you need to do it in the shore excursion area, Kristen. Um, you just go into shore excursions and look for it there. It's better if you do it. Um, let's see here. Naomi said, is the snorkeling best in Belize or Cozumel? Probably both are going to be beautiful, depending on where you go. Both are famous for their snorkeling. Dog Lover 2012, Costa Maya get, worth getting off the ship? We think so. We loved going to Maya Chan, but you could also just go to some of the beach areas nearby. I think it's worth getting off the ship. Um, JCO Beauty said, do you ever upgrade your stateroom? Yes, we do. We have paid to upgrade before. We paid, um, we've paid to upgrade several times. Yeah, I take upgrade offers if they're reasonable. Um, it's funny though, because you, you know you, you typically don't always get them when you want them the most. <laughs> So, um, Captain's Table MDR wants to know if I prefer port or starboard side for cabin or the underrated aft cabin. I like aft facing, personally. And I, otherwise, starboard and port don't matter too much to me. If I'm cruising to the Mexican Riviera, I like to be, if I can, I like to be on the starboard side. I like to see the coast as I'm coming back up. Sarah Jones said, how can I find out about if the ship I'm boarding tomorrow in Japan does not have the virus and how do I protect myself? Okay. So Sarah Jones, 
If you have not heard from your cruise line about cancellations or anything like that, I would assume that you're probably fine. They Obviously, there has been a quarantine issue over in Japan, but it's an isolated incident. You guys, when we're talking about coronavirus here, we have to remember not to panic, okay? This virus, while it is a new virus that we're, you know, we haven't heard a lot about, the severity of the virus for healthy people is not really necessarily much worse than common influenza. It doesn't require medications. You normally heal yourself. Now, that's not necessarily true for someone who's of advanced age or who's not well, but we've got to stay calm about this, Sarah. So my recommendation is that if you'd like to wear a face mask on the airplane, I'd be a lot more concerned about taking an, a flight over there than anything else. Wear an air mask, wash your hands thoroughly. If you don't feel well, go to the medical center immediately, get treatment, but please don't panic about this. Um, it's, it's obviously a very serious situation, Sarah, but if your cruise has not been canceled, I would not panic, okay? Um, Ammon Sladen said, my mom uses a mobility chair. Will she be able to get off the tender boat in Cabo sailing Will it Royal Princess? Usually they can. Ammon, it may be a choice that she doesn't want to because if there's a lot of motion between the tender and the, um, and the ship that day, it could be a little bit of an uncomfortable situation. We've seen people doing it in wheelchairs and mobility chairs, um, but I don't, I don't think she can take the chair itself on the tender, I think she'd probably have to take a wheelchair. I'm not sure about that, but I don't know how they would get a mobility chair um, on the tender because it has stairs, whereas they can take a folding wheelchair. Katie's Many Adventures, how is Long Beach weather in December, panorama beginning of December? Curious what activities day before cruise? It's cold, it's wintry, it's California winter on the days before and after and leading up to your port days. So the sea days down and the sea days back are very cool. You need jeans, you need a jacket a light jacket, sweatshirts, things like that. Not all tropical um, wear, it's cool. All right, Sashimi Cat, hi! Sashimi Cat, congrats on the twins, by the way. I just saw your email. Any tips on getting makeup and hair ready quickly on a cruise for regular excursion days and formal nights? I found you had a hard time and wound up looking like the dog's dinner a lot. Okay, I have a video, a quick get ready with me for a port day on our cruise gear channel. So go to youtube.com forward slash cruise gear and search get ready with me. But my best tip would be Sleep with your hair in a, in a silk scrunchie or ponytail on the top of your head so your hair doesn't go cray cray. And then come up with a good five minute, um, a five minute makeup routine. A good five minute makeup routine would probably be tinted moisturizer, a nice foundation base, maybe some mascara, lipstick, blush, not a whole lot of makeup, but something you could throw on really fast. Just make sure it has an SPF in it. Shorty12341, any suggestions on seeing Mount Fuji? You're hoping to see it while in Japan on your cruise. Well, if it's sunny, Shorty, you're going to see it from the ship. It is absolutely spectacular. It's probably one of the highlights of our cruising life was waking up and seeing Mount Fuji. Um, so much so that we busted out the camera and showed you guys. There are excursions where you can go to one of the stations on Mount Fuji, but honestly, if it's a clear day, you're gonna see it from the ship. It is absolutely spectacular. Vernon said, what's the secret to sneak your room steward home with you? I know, Vernon, bribery. JCO, Be JCO Beauty said, D oh, I already got that one, sorry. Laura, does Princess still go to the port of Catalina? I don't know if they have any five-nighters or four-nighters to Catalina right now. That's a good question. I know Carnival definitely does. Karen Lalandia said, cruise in the Great Lakes. Yes, I would love to do Great Lakes. I would love to do the American River. I'd like to do any kind of American River cruise. I think it'd be really exciting and wonderful. Something in the South would be really cool too. Daisy Roman said, what is there to do in Nova Scotia? Oh, there's a ton, Daisy. Um, in Halifax, you can go see Peggy's Cove, the lighthouse. Take a tour, get a private taxi driver for the day and let them show you all around. There's so much to do in Nova Scotia. Great seafood, great donuts at Tim Hortons, do it all. Um, Ruthie Ann Graves said, what's the best cruise line for a Mediterranean itinerary? It's the best, it's your favorite cruise line. So whatever cruise line you gravitate towards, we recommend doing that one in the med. If you haven't cruised before and you're new to it, you have a lot of options. You have Princess Holland America, MSC, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, all the big lines are over there, so pick the line you love and choose one on that line. You'll be most comfortable. 
Marita said, are there a theme dress ups on all princess cruises? Not really. I mean, they might, they have some, but not, it's not as much as carnival. Rachel Slater said, any tips on hotels at Fort Lauderdale airport cruise port that transfer to the port? Yeah, Rachel, just know that you may have to pay a little more for your transfers, but we like the embassy suites on 17th street in Fort Lauderdale. Phenomenal. They have a uh, manager's complimentary bar at night. They have com included breakfast and you can pay to take a shuttle. Maureen W. said, I'm taking my 18 and 19-year-old granddaughters on Mariner of the Seas. At Coco Key, can you go back? Yeah, you mean like go back on the ship? I think you can. Yeah, you can. You can come and go all you want. You just use your key card to get in and out. I think that's what you're asking, but then that's all the question said. Mia Moore said, my family and I will be on Royal Harmony in June, not looking forward to all the stairs in Coco Key. How did you manage going up and down the tallest water slides? I nearly died. Um... <laughs> so gnarly. The tallest water slide just about killed me. I was talking to Matt at Royal Caribbean blog and I was like, how do you do that? How do you do that? He's like, I know, I know it was brutal. It's tough. The, the shorter water slides aren't that bad and you kind of take them slow and the lines start to form on the stairs, but the tallest one was so hard. I will, I cannot, I cannot sugarcoat that. Sorry. Ammon Sladen said, is she not going to mention the super chats? I did mention the super chats. Did I miss one, honey? Oh, okay, Ammon. I think I got them both. I'm so sorry if I missed someone. Um, Kelsey, are we really behind on questions, honey? Really behind? Okay. Okay. Um, I can't see anything. Can you put Kelsey's at the top? Beautiful, thanks. Um, Kelsey said, what is the Yacht Club and also the pendants you mentioned before? Yacht Club is MSC's ship within a ship concept. It's wonderful. It's an upgraded cruising experience. It's fabulous. And the pendants I've mentioned before are the ocean medallion from Princess Cruises. Mike St. Germain said, are there a lot of low carb options on Royal Caribbean? Wife is diabetic and has to watch sugar control. Yes, there's tons. And if she needs an actual low carb diet, you can definitely talk to the head waiter and they can work on that for you. Katie's many adventures on Princess. Is there an option to not have the Champagne for the balcony dinner. Grandparents don't drink. Yes, absolutely. Just tell them you don't want the champagne and they won't bring it. Absolutely fine. Darlene H. Hay said, Sherry, have you ever done a Hawaiian cruise? No, we haven't. We would like to. It's not at the top of my list right now, but it's on my dream list. Darlene, we gotcha. Secretary Weber said, this is Willie B. And I wonder if there are any don't miss things on shore days on board Liberty of the Seas. On shore days on Liberty of the Seas. Willie B., it depends on where you're going, pal. Let me know your ports. Pamela Morton said the casino takes cash in slots and tables. It does? Really? I didn't know you could pay cash in the casino. I thought it all had to run through your cruise card. Naomi said, how long do you have, how long do you have to transfer your cruise to a travel agent going on Panorama April 2021? I think it's different for every cruise line. Any travel agents in the house that can answer that for me for your particular, from your expertise, I want to say it's something like maybe 90 days, but it also depends on whether or not final payments made. I need a travel agent to help out with this because I just don't know. Um, wow, Becca just found out you're pregnant and you're, um, how do you sail with a one-year-old? Well, you just book them on the cruise, just like a normal passenger. You will pay full fare for them. They are a third passenger now. You'll pay gratuities and everything. Not all lines. I think there's a few lines that don't charge gratuities, but most of them do charge a full third person fare. You're going to have a wonderful time. Um, I would say pack lots and lots of diapers, but your, your child will be pampered and you're going to have so much fun. You'll love it. Usually kids sleep really well at that age on cruises too. So it's a real treat. Kristen Whitley said, you want excursion recommendations for Grand Turk. On Grand Turk, if I were to visit, I wouldn't do an excursion. I would just walk down the beach to Jack's Shack and hang out for the day. Dorothy says, have you ever sailed Norwegian? What are your thoughts? Yes, we've sailed Norwegian a ton. We've been on Bliss, Star, um, Star many times. We've been on Norwegian Joy. That's a great cruise line. Lots of choice, lots of selection. Um, can be a traditional experience if you want it to, or it cannot be. Okay. Eureka said, you're also sailing breakaway reservations versus freestyle. I mean, I'm not, I don't exactly understand your question. Like, should you just show up is your question or should you make reservations? If that's what you're asking Eureka's battleship, I highly recommend you make reservations or you might be disappointed. You might have big wait times. That's my preference. Make a reservation, then change it later. Um, Lacey Gap, what is a must what is a must-do Grand Princess Alaska in July? Well, on the ship, I think a must-do is to get into a hot, a hot tub 
when you're in the glacier area and just sit there and enjoy what's around you. It's the weirdest experience to be in a hot tub in such a cold place. That's my must do. Lonnie Cuba said, how many cruises have you been on? You thought you had a lot at 25. Lonnie, we haven't been on a whole lot more than you, maybe 33 or 34 right about now. I have to, I have to start counting again. Courtney Lynch said, how's the main dining room open on Carnival on Embarkation Day? I think you're asking, is the main dining room open on Embarkation Day? And generally it is not on Carnival. Jess Gordon said, what are the chances of upgrading from a balcony to a suite on Harmony of the Seas with paying very little? They're not good. Um, they're not very good, Jess. Usually it's in, you know, you're going to see the chances when you go through the upgrade process. It's probably not very good. Mitch said, does Norwegian Gem have laundry? Mitch, I think... I don't think that they do. I'm pretty sure they don't, but you can definitely go onto the Norwegian website to see in the FAQ section, just type in laundry and they'll tell you which ships have laundry. I don't think they do. Shorty said, can anyone tell me if Diamond Princess will be medallion by 2022? I don't know if that's been announced yet, Shorty. 1987 Senta Sen said, I've heard that I've heard that one, if the cruise line turns off lights at night, don't know which cruise line or if it's true. I'm so sorry, but I don't understand the question. No, no cruise lines turn off the lights at night. You're okay. Deborah Wyke said, Sherry, I'm from Washington State. I found a few hotels close to Pier 66 Cruise Terminal on Bell Street. Okay, awesome. Cool. NCL is at this port. How can I get this info out to you or any of your subscribers that are inquiring? Thank you so much, Deborah. If you'd like to put the information, type it right here, or you can send me a direct message. Um, on Facebook, or if you want to wait until the chat is over, you can leave it as a comment and I'll approve the comment so everyone can see it. That might be the best way. Amanda Rodriguez said, Sherry, did you get a chance to see the lockers on Coco Key going there later? Wouldn't want to leave valuables on a pool chair. Yes. Amanda, we saw them when we were walking in. They're great. They're right at the entrance and they looked like they were awesome and a lot of people were using them. Yeah, really nice. I think that they're in our Coco Key video. I think we've got um, video of them. So take, we show the air, not the inside. Okay. Great. Scott Rupert said, does medallion class include internet? It is an upcharge. Scott, thank you for the kind words. You do have to pay more for the internet. You pay extra, but it is a very low price compared to the old plans with Princess. It's unlimited and it's very good. Highly recommend that you make the investment. Um, Not Notka said, what's your thought on the key on Virgin Voyages? It's so pretty. Oh, do you mean the new the new band, you're talking about the band, they're beautiful. Um, you guys, Virgin Voyages um, released their wristbands today and they have this beautiful anchor on them. Go to our Facebook page, Cruise Tips TV, and look at the news release or our website, cruisetipstv.com. They're beautiful, just beautiful. Jess Gordon said, what do you think the difference between the new Carnival XL class and Royal Caribbean Oasis class will be? Jess, I just don't know yet. I don't really think they're gonna be super similar concepts. Um, I think, I think Carnival will definitely innovate, but it's hard to say. I'm ready for more, sweetie, if you could move it up. I got Jess's question. Yeah. I'm taking a little breath right now. Woo! We've been going strong for 42 minutes, guys. Tony and Jenny are in the house. I see. Hi, guys. Nice to see you here tonight. How's Florida? All right. Julie Dutton said, best hanging toiletry bag. I have full-size hairspray. You need the, um... E-bags, packet flat, large toiletry bag. It is in our shop. Um, I'll put a link in for you right now. It is wonderful. It is pretty big. I would say your full-size hairspray should fit in there. Um, but yeah, e-bags, packet flat, large. Yeah, full-size hairspray. Depends on how full-size you mean, but I actually think you can get the full-size hairspray in one of the side zip pockets, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm ready for those when you are, honey. We got a lot of questions tonight, you guys. Thank you all for being um, patient with us tonight. If I've missed your question, we're gonna wrap up in a few minutes. You can always DM me over on Facebook, okay? Bill and Lisa Tate said, we booked an Alaska cruise directly with Princess. Should we consider transferring the booking to an agent? Are there benefits to this? It's up to you, Bill and Lisa. Personally, I prefer to, whenever I put a deposit down on a ship, I transfer it. Benefits would be that they can then help you with things like air. They can watch for price drops for you. I think it's a good idea. If you need a travel agency recommendation, um, you can definitely look in the description of this video and we will link to our partner travel agency. Um, Jess Gordon said, what's an excellent specialty restaurant to have lunch on a sea day and dinner every night since I had purchased the unlimited dining package? Jess, 
I don't know what ship you're on. I'm assuming if you purchase an unlimited dining package, maybe you're talking about Royal Caribbean. Um, in, in that case, it depends on the ship. I can speak on Harmony. I can tell you that Chops and 150 Central Park and Jamie's Italian and Wonderland are all great, but I don't know what ship you're on. Linda Elliott said, does anyone have experience with mal de debarkment? Okay, guys, Linda's talking about MDDS syndrome, which is a very serious um, ailment that some people get after they get off of a cruise where they, they continue to feel like they're in motion. And it's very scary when it's real mal de debarkment syndrome, it doesn't go away. When someone's just swaying for a week after a cruise, that is not the same thing. Um, Linda, we have made a video on MDDS. Just search MDDS on our channel. You can watch it. You pasted it in. Oh, good job, sweetie. So there's a little video about that. Okay. Isabel, you want to know if you should book a spa treatment before the cruise or on the ship? Personally, I do not book them until I get on the ship because I like port day specials. So that's what I do. Okay. Linda, we got Linda. Thank you, Seth, very much for your positive reinforcement about hitting the like button. We appreciate it. <laughs> Seth. Seth is spanking our people. Okay, Seth, take it easy there. We love you. Oh, hi, Doris. Welcome. So glad that you're here. Okay. I'm going to grab some more live questions here, guys. Becca Gross said, are there decorations for the cruise store we can get, or do you have to get the ones from the fun shop? They don't really have many in the fun shop that I know of. You can take your own, Becca. Just be careful that you don't want anything flammable. That's important. Okay. Make It Blue said, I am taking a first cruise since 2010. Is Carnival a good one with closed captioning? I'm hard of hearing. I think so. Make It Blue, um... I haven't had a whole lot of personal experience with this, but I think that it might be good. I also have heard that Royal Caribbean is very good with that, so you might want to check that out. Okay. You're welcome, Scott. What was your first question? How much must we drink before the best sell ever is a bargain? Okay, Scott Rupert, I will gladly answer that for you. You're so funny. You don't have to give me 20 bucks. Um, I think best sale ever is a good deal. I have been looking at it and I, this, the difference between the regular cruise fare and what you're getting is enormous value. You guys, what this is, is a promo that Princess is running right now where you get Wi-Fi gratuities and a drink package and you pay more, but they're being fully transparent. There's like a, you can book the regular price or you can book best sell ever and you can see the difference. So you've got to decide. I personally would probably pick it. Just saying, because that's a lot. Wi-Fi, gratuities, and a drink package for what they're charging you? Yeah, I mean, I would do it. I would do it. Um, Captain's Table, yes, I do wear my Apple Watch in the ocean, and um, I use the water release feature after, and I have ruined one of them, right, honey? Didn't I ruin one Apple Watch? He was able to fix it, but you have to be careful. Um, Pastel Dragon said, what was your favorite show on the cruise? Oh, it depends on which cruise, Pastel Dragons, but one of the coolest shows we've ever been to would be the water show, the aqua show, the fine line aqua show on Royal Caribbean was really great. Thank you, Ron, for the kind words. Okay, what? Oh, the Cirque du Soleil on MSC. Cirque du Soleil on MSC. Actually, I have to take it back. Cirque du Soleil on MSC in the round was probably one of the best. The ice show is also great. Kelsey, we don't take car seats for ports. Personally, that's a personal decision you have to make um, unless it's a legal requirement in that country and then we would, but we don't. Um, good question. Okay, guys, we are going to wrap it up tonight. I would like to share with all of you that um, if I have missed your question tonight, you're welcome to message me on Facebook. You wanna follow the page, Cruise Tips TV, the one that has my face on it. Send me a direct message and I will get back to you. Um, Wanda from Texas, recommendations on hotels out of Seattle. We recommended earlier tonight, Hotel Andra is very pretty. I love that place. Thank you all so much for being here. Would you guys hit that like button before you take off? And if you're new, please subscribe. We have so much fun stuff coming your way at the remainder of this year. And we're so thankful to all of our OG subscribers here in the house helping out with questions. I see a lot of great information in the chat. So if you're watching this on replay, be sure to watch the live chat for tips. We've got lots of um, really cool videos coming to you guys in the next few weeks. So stay tuned and turn on your notifications. Have a wonderful night. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Cruise around the week. <laughs>
Hey, click me to subscribe.